now we will see about the uh, trickling filter uh, skimming tanks so what is this uh, skimming tanks so what is the reason which has been used how it is being used what is the main purpose let me see about uh, about the skimming tanks so this whatever the skimming tanks are there so that is in the rectangular uh, in the shape so it is a, a narrow rectangular tanks so that is having the at least uh, two longitudinal buffer walls so that is been interconnected to each other so then they that is been this uh, skimming tanks whatever which has been used so that has been used for the removal of the grease and uh, oils especially fatty oils so the fatty oils that can be removed in the sewage water um, so this air diffusers are been uh, provided in the skimming tanks at the bottom of the tanks so where the whatever the compressed air which has been applied at a rate of uh, variation of around the 300 to 6000 metric cube per million liters of sewage uh, which agitates the the sewage so this that will be prevent which uh, which prevents the settling of the solids in the tanks so this air whatever this uh, air tends uh, to change the oils and the grease to a soapy mixture so this mixture is been uh, carried away to the surface by the air bubbles and uh, some of which which are been entrained in it uh, that may be whatever uh, settles at the top that will be skimmed off so this is how the where this in the semi uh, in the skimming tanks where the uh, grease and the oils uh, in the that will be changed in the form of the soapy mixture and it will be uh, removed from the sewage water and so that's about the skimming tanks next uh, we will see the uh, the uh, trickling filters so what is this uh, trickling filters so uh, trickling filters where that has been uh, adopted that can be used especially in the uh, treatment plant uh, after the primary treatment for the secondary treatment of the wastewater in the sewage uh, this uh, trickling filters will be adopted so trickling filters are mainly used for only for the after the primary treatment uh, after the removal of the all the floating materials all the whatever the grease oil all after removing all this uh, later for uh, for especially mainly uh, whatever the uh, the bacterial whatever it has been there to remove all this this trickling filters will be used so uh, what is this uh, trickling filters uh, the main uh, job of this uh, trickling filters so these uh, trickling filters the uh, what it consisting of hmm? so see let me see about the how the trickling filters will be so usually uh, there is be a tank hmm? there will be a tank will be there so one there will be a coarser filter medium will be there so there will be uh, whatever the types of filters there in the filters one will be finer filters another will be coarser filters so considered if you placed uh, Hmm. Placed. Uh, considered if you placed a, a big any 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 filters filters you have to use means bigger one like this bigger bigger bigger. So when you moving towards the uh, whatever the these are the filters. So consider whatever I am bubble round shape watch over whatever I am showing. So these are the particles, soil, sand particles. Okay, considered. I'm showing a sand filters. Mm. So these are the filters. So in between, whatever the gaps are there in between the between the sand particles, where the movement of the water will take place in between this. Mm. So that is that is in the finer way. So apart from the whatever the solids are there, so these solids will be settled. So that will be settled in between the this sands. Mm. So the movement, the movement of the uh, the water will get percolated in between these uh, particles, and whatever the sand, the solid particles that will be retained by the this 
particles hmm. so this is how the filters will work so here in the case of the trickling filters so this will be uh, that will be consisting of uh, this tank uh, this tank consisting of the coarser filter medium hmm. coarser filter medium will be used there, there consider this is a medium okay in this medium a coarser materials will be is being used hmm, as a filter okay as a filter coarser medium has been used in over which whatever the sewage is allowed to sprinkle or it will be trickled down by the means of the spray nozzles or rotary distributions hmm. so this percolating sewage is been uh, collected at the tank through well design under the drainage system where the purification of the sewage is brought uh, about mainly by the aerobic bacteria which forms the uh, bacterium film around the particles of the filter medium the action whatever the uh, medium of the this bacterium film which is being forms uh, in the filter medium uh, that will be uh, removed the whatever the action which has been taken for the uh, mechanical strain uh, mechanical straining of the filters in the bed so that will be very less so this uh, in order to ensure a large scale of the growth of an uh, aerobic bacteria where this bacteria will be sustained under the air so that is aerobic bacteria the scale uh, the you know in, we have to ensure that the whatever the aerobic bacteria will be there so that has to be growth in a larger quantity so this uh, this sufficient quantity of the oxygen is been supplied by the suitable ventilation uh, this whatever the trickling filters are there in that uh, suitable ventilation should be provided such that the on uh, the oxygen should be passed through this trickling filters where that there uh, this oxygen that will be very sufficient to grow the aerobic bacteria in the this trickling filters um, that should be suitable that should be suitable for the extent for the uh, treating the wastewater hmm. so this quantity of the oxygen which has been supplied in the through ventilation that should be provided for the suitable uh, facilities so in the trickling filters in the in the bodies of the filters also so in this the uh, whatever the extent some extents by the uh, trickling filters intermittent intermittent functions can be provided in the filters for the uh, for the growth of the aerobic bacteria so whatever the effluent uh, effluent which is obtained from the filter that must be taken for the secondary clarifier for the settlement uh, for the settling of the the organic uh, filters mm. no sorry organic matters so this uh, the it will be oxidized while passing through down these filters so that's about the uh, trickling filters um, fu functions of the trickling filters mm, the main the main aim of this is to uh, mainly due to uh, whatever the uh, it is due to the the purification of the sewage so that is been uh, done mainly by the uh, aerobic bacteria and whatever due to the coarser filter medium is being used the smaller whatever the smaller uh, uh, waste uh, through in the wastewater that is not been removed in the trickling filters uh, in the in the coarser uh, filter medium in this case of the uh, in this case of the uh, trickling filters uh, the bigger the bigger sizes of the materials will be removed and uh, purification will be done through aerobic bacteria so that is what the main uh, function of this uh, trickling filters hmm. uh, next uh, we will see the the flow charts of this uh, trickling filters through uh, through the system hmm. so where the flow charts what are the uh, functions uh, what are the uh, operations which will be carried out by the the uh, trickling filters 
Mm. So that that construction and operations of the sticking filters will be seen in the next video.